in the end, we will have to get to how you uh, balance the books at some point. Not now, because you've got to continue propping the economy. There are three options. You cut, and the last 10 years has shown us that austerity was a completely failed project. Oh, I don't agree Because it's cut, and it's short term, and you take capacity out of the economy, and then you just have to chuck the money back in in order to deal with things like a pandemic or other crisis or other shocks that come. But critically, if we compare ourselves to other countries, the ones that did really well after the financial crisis was those that put in place big, large fiscal stimulus. They got their economy working again because that does the job of increasing tax take and that's the best way in which you deal with this. The decisions the Chancellor makes today will determine our recovery path. And the thing that he has to do is think about ways in which he stimulates the economy. So for me, he should be stimulating it in a way that's green. If he put in 28 billion of investment into green infrastructure, that would unlock 400,000 jobs and boost the economy. If you put in 18 billion into social infrastructure, that's care workers, that's public health, that would create 7,000 jobs and boost the economy. So there are choices, but there is a pathway that we can take. And it is very short sighted to try to contract now, because what you will do, you'll choke the recovery. And worse still, you know, we all talk about build back better. If you want to build back better, let's not balance the books off the backs of the poor. Let's not balance the books off the back of our key workers that kept us going through this pandemic. Well, there are choices, and right. the government has choices that it can no, make. No, there are. Look, when we responded to the, the financial crash in, 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 you know, 10 years ago, through the furlough scheme... ..higher than they were in... ..it was flawed. Economy. If we'd gone into this pandemic with the public finances in a shocking state, we wouldn't have been able to do the things the Chancellor's done to support people through the pandemic, protect those jobs through the furlough scheme, and we've been in a lot worse position now than we would have been. Can Richard, I just come back yeah, on yeah. two things. Firstly, we went into this pandemic with the public finances not being balanced, which is what we were promised back in 2010, because I come back to the fact that austerity was flawed. But critically, we've had 10 years in which living standards have not budged in this country. So we went into the pandemic and living standards were no higher than they were in 2008. That is not a record of success. That is a record of failure. We cannot make that mistake again going into the next 10 years. Um, Rich